Assalamualaikum and hello. Welcome back to our lessons. Today, we will see together chapter 5 entitled Electrostatic Field in a Medium. In this chapter, we will see two things. First is conductor, second is dielectric. Whatever you learn so far is the analysis of electric field inside a vacuum or free space. In chapter 5, we will see the effect of electric field inside a conductor as well as dielectric. Conductor, by nature, it can conduct electric currents. Later on, we will see how we define electric current from very basics and then how can we derive the expression of resistance of the conductor. For dielectric, we will see about boundary conditions. Dielectric by nature cannot conduct electricity, but the electric field exists inside dielectric. To relate the electric field intensity, for example, from one material to another material, we will use the boundary conditions to analyze the field. Next, we will see about capacitance. We can construct a capacitance by using a different shape and different coordinate systems. And lastly, about the energy stored by the capacitor. For the conductor, we have current and resistance. So, the current in this chapter, you will see three different current. The first current is convection current. The second is conduction current. And that lastly is displacement current. However, the displacement current will be discussed for time varying field. For dielectric, like I mentioned earlier, we will see about boundary condition, capacitance, as well as energy. Next, about mediums. Medium for electromagnetic field is classified into its ability to permit the field, whether electrostatic, magnetostatic, or electromagnetic field that pass through it. And we have few parameters used to analyze the mediums, which is permittivity, normally related to the electric field. Next, we have permeability, mu, that relates to magnetic field. And conductivity. This is a parameter show the ability of the material to conduct electric currents. High conductivity means the current is easier to flow through the mediums. Normally, we will assume that epsilon, mu and sigma to be homogeneous and isotropic. When we assume it is homogeneous and isotropic, so these parameters are constant with dimension and directions. So our analysis will be easier. So our approach for analysis, first we have moving charge. We will study moving charge in free space. Can charge move in free space? Of course it can. We will discuss later. For conductor, we will discuss about conductivity or sigma and then we will discuss about Ohm's law, something you always heard. And then we have a resistance that we can derive from field theory. And then conductor properties under static conditions. And lastly, conductor free space boundary condition. For dielectric, 
where we discuss about dielectric properties under static conditions and then dielectric dielectric boundary conditions. And one of the most important application is capacitor. So our aim is to find a capacitor and the energy stored by the capacitor.